Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done another video. Lol jokes. I've actually managed to do three videos in three weeks this time. Better than the last time that I came back, yo. Better than the last time, cause the last time I fucking failed miserably, seriously. So, anyway, on to this week's video. It might be a long one, so I'm gonna try and ramble through this intro as fast as possible. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you subscribed and you're back here, well done you. I got this video idea from Nikita Rock Socks, who got this idea from Amazing Phil or Amazing Dan, I don't fucking know. One of those two. So I'm just going to credit Nikita and I'm going to put her video in the description below. And it is the A to Z of Ethel Mills. She obviously didn't do the A to Z of Ethel Mills, she obviously did the A to Z of Nikita Rock Socks, because, you know, that would be weird if she did it about me. <laughs> but very highly complimentary if she managed to get all to A to Z. So basically what the premise of this video is, is for each of letter of the alphabet I describe myself or say something that means something to me. So A is obviously for Alfie, my cat, photo here. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, then do so because most of the time I just post photos of Alfie and selfies. So that'll be fun. So do that. So A is obviously for Alfie. I love Alfie with all my heart. He's literally so adorable and beautiful and photogenic and oh my god. B is for Beyonce and for all you people who just think I'm doing that because uh, you feel like you have to. No, Beyonce actually really helped me accept myself as a person via her songs because her, her songs are so self-empowering and love yourself. That's why B is for Beyonce because Beyonce helped shape me into the confident person I am today. C is for comic books. I love comic books. I love buying comic books, collecting graphic novels of comic books that have come out. My favourite is the Dark Phoenix Saga. If you haven't read that, go read that because it's fucking insane and so good. D is for dining out. You all already know that I like Disney so I'm not going to put that. D is for dining out. I tell you now, if I had enough money, I would dine out every single day. I love going for dinner with my friends, family, it's just one of my favourite things to do. Because not only do you get catch up, you also get to eat. Win win in this situation. E is for emotional. I am actually quite an emotional person, although you wouldn't think that. Literally, I could cry at an advert sometimes. I have cried at an advert before. F is for family and friends because they really all have helped shape me as a person. Even for the people that I am not friends with now have also helped shape me as a person because they've also made me realise I don't want to be like that. So every single friend that I have had, thank you, you've helped shape me to be the person that I am today. And more importantly, thank you to my family who have stuck by me through thick and thin and have really helped me become the person that I am today. G is for GLOW, which stands for Glorious Ladies of Wrestling. I, the reason I'm putting this in is because I love binge watching TV shows and this was the last TV show that I watched. Hi, this is future editing Ethel, who just wants to say that past Ethel was a fucking idiot who forgot to say H, which is how to get away with murder. And the reason I'm putting this one as H is because one, it's one of my favorite TV shows and it's also the one that I forced my mother to watch and now she loves it too. I is for iBoy, which is the film that I last watched. It's about a boy who interrupts this rape or something and then they shoot him and the shards of glass from his phone get into his brain and then make him like this cyber genius person. J is for just get this the fuck over with because that's probably what you're all thinking. I'm joking, J is for judicious, which stands for being a good judge of character and also quite wise. Everyone tells me that I'm wise, I'm not just tooting my own horn here, but toot toot. And I, I like to think I am a good judge of character. I still, if I get an iffy feeling about someone, it tends to be right. K is for Kingdom Hearts, which is a game series that I play or have played when I was younger and then play again when I'm older. And it is one of my favourites because it wraps in Disney as well as Final Fantasy characters whilst also making its own story and it's just fucking fantastic. L is for Lana Del Rey. You fucking saw that one coming, didn't you? She is my favourite artist of all time. There is not a single Lana Del Rey song that I do not like. I could listen to her on repeat and I know people sometimes say, Oh, she's depressing. Fuck you. If you think Lana Del Rey is depressing, bye bye, bitch. Like, I get it, but for me, she helped me at a time where I was really, really low. And I will forever be thankful for that, even if she never even acknowledges my existence. <laughs> M is for Monster Munch, which are a flavour of crisps that you, well it's a brand of crisps that you get 
in the UK, more specifically Pickled Onion Monster Munch because when I was younger and even now, if I was in a playground with a snack, it would be Monster Munch and even now if I have to snack on something, it would be Monster Munch. N is for Nesquik. I've just realised I have a lot of food in this. That is my chosen cereal. I eat that every morning and night without fail. With a lot of milk. If the cereal bowl is not overflowing because there's too much milk in it, you don't have enough milk. O is for One Tree Hill forward slash Once Upon a Time because I couldn't choose between the two. These are two C TV series that I have watched religiously and could watch over and over and over and over again. However, Mark Schwann, why you gotta go and do what you did and ruin my favourite TV show with your tainted name? You dick. P is for Pepsi. I drink Pepsi all the time. I know it's really bad for you, but fuck, whatever. I love it. I know some people like Coke and some people just don't like fucking soda altogether. But, you know, you don't see me coming up all in your beef because you like fucking Dr. Pepper, do you? Actually, that's a lie. I did do that on Twitter once. Oh, shit. <laughs> Q is for Queen because that's what I motherfucking am. R is for reality TV. I love reality TV. I know I really shouldn't, but I really do. I literally watch everything from Made in Chelsea, The Only Way is Essex, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Geordie Shore, Total Divas, everything. I will watch everything. S is for sassy because that is the one word that everyone uses to describe me so it would be a bit of a disservice to that word to not have it in this. T is for twin because I am a twin. Here's a photo of my beautiful twin. She looks like this. I look like this. She, yeah. You wouldn't think it, would you? <laughs> I got this suggestion from one of my best friends, Dean Swinney. He said, you should be for unapologetic because I never apologize for anything that I do or anything that I decide or who I am as a person. And I was like, yes, bitch. I'm gonna take that and use that in this video. So thank you to you. V is for video editing because I love video editing so much. I could sit for hours and do it. I video edit this kind of vlogs, but I also have a video editing channel which is uh, for wrestling, mainly the women wrestlers, because I'm an avid women's wrestling fan. Yeah, these for video editing. If you want to check out my other channel, I'll put the link in the description below. Go have a little nosy. W is for the WWE. I love the WWE. Even when it's so shit and you kind of think, what the hell were they thinking booking that and making this happen instead of that happen, I will stick by it through thick and thin. I will complain, but I will still watch it, obviously. It's one of my favourite TV shows of all time, clearly. And I think what happened was my parents tried to get me to watch the football and it was on Sky Sports at the time, it still is, but the wrestling was on after the football. I watched that as well and got hooked on that instead of the football, so. X is for X-Men. I love the X-Men. It's my favourite franchise, comic book, branch, everything about the X-Men I just love. From the stories that they've been involved in, the issue that it tackles as well, from prejudice to people that look different or might be different, and for that reason, X-Men will forever be my favourite comic. I owe a lot to the X-Men to help me know that it was okay to be different, because although you had other people like Spider-Man, etc, the X-Men were born with what they had like I was and it really helped me know that it was okay to look different when I really needed it when I was younger growing up. Y is for Young and Beautiful. Literally, that song makes my entire life that much better knowing that that song exists. Z, finally, is for Zoe. And the reason I'm putting Zoe in this is because not only is she like my biggest fan, but she has also been the person that has appeared in most videos that I have put on my channel. Christina is giving her a run for her money though. Zoe is just su such a supportive person with the whole of this. She was so encouraging for me to do it in the first place and she literally sits and waits every single week for my videos to go up and whenever I do take a break because I'm being a bitch she will hound and harass me in a good way to record more and put more videos on because she loves watching me which is so good to have such a supportive person and that was it the A to Z of Athol 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna tag someone to do this because she hasn't done a video in a while. I'm gonna tag you, Kasor, because I want to see that lovely girl's face on my YouTube screen. So that was it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back again next week. And that is that for this week's video.